friends welcome to this video today we'll learn about the commutative property of rational numbers let's see what is happening in class today children rahul went from delhi to kanpur for some work and then from kanpur to prayagraj distance from delhi to kanpur is 495 km and the distance from kanpur to prayagraj is 205 km so how much distance did rahul traveled to reach prayagraj from delhi children you must have got the answer as 700 km now when rahul had to come back he went to kanpur from prayagraj and then reached delhi from kanpur so children can you find out the distance he traveled yes you are right 700 km children here we can see that rahul covered equal distance in both the situations while adding these numbers here we see that changing their order did not change the answer sir two integers are being added here that is why in every case the sum of the equations is the same because the addition of integers is commutative rightly said sohan Now explain to everyone the meaning of commutative property. Sir, commutative means that even after changing the order of numbers in an operation, the result doesn't change. That is, the change of order doesn't affect the result. As we have seen here, if we add these two integers in any order, their sum does not change. If we add or multiply any two integers such as a and b in any order, There is no change in the answer because the addition and multiplication of integers are commutative. You are right Sohan. Sohan in the last class we learned about the commutative property of natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Now let's discuss the commutative property of rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is non zero number such as 4 by 7 minus 10 by 49 etc we can also write natural numbers whole numbers and integers as p by q here we can write 1 as the denominator so these are also rational numbers let us now discuss the commutative property of addition of rational numbers suppose we have two rational numbers now let's add them in this order how do we add such numbers like we used to add fractions with the help of the least common multiple lcm here the least common multiple of the denominator is 12 adding these we will get the answer 11 by 12 Now let's change their order and again add them. We will see that the answer will still be 11 by 12. Children now you add the numbers given on the screen in this order. Keep in mind that the number 5 that is in the first question here can also be written as 5 by 1. Pause the video and solve these questions and write the answers. these are the results now change the order of these numbers and add them again sir even after changing the order our answer are the same children you can all see that changing the order of addition of rational numbers did not affect our answer because the addition of rational numbers is commutative that is why we can add any two rational numbers like a and b in any order children but is the subtraction of rational numbers also commutative first let's take two rational numbers such as 3 by 4 and minus 5 by 6 now first subtract minus 5 by 6 from 3 by 4 which we will do in this way 
Next, change the order of the numbers and subtract 3 by 4 from minus 5 by 6 and state the answer. Sir, we have got a different answer in both the cases. You are right, Mohan. Solve all the questions given here. Please pause the video and solve these questions and write your answers. Now change the order of numbers in each question and solve them again. In each of the given questions, our answer changes whenever we change the order of numbers. We can see here that changing the order of numbers in subtraction changes our answer because subtraction of rational numbers is not commutative. That is why we can say that for any two rational numbers a and b, a minus b is not equal to b minus a. Let's go ahead and discuss the next operation. Multiplication. Is multiplication of rational numbers also commutative? Let's see. For this, we take two rational numbers. Multiply both these numbers. The answer is 35 by 12. Now let's change the order of these numbers. Sir, our answer is still 35 by 12. Now all of you solve these questions. On solving these questions, you must have got these answers. Now change the order of these numbers and multiply. Sir, swapping the numbers did not change our answer. You are right, Mohan. This is because the application of rational numbers is commutative. We can say that A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A for any two rational numbers A and B. Children, now let's check the commutative property of rational numbers in division. Now look at the two rational numbers given here and divide them in this order. Keeping in mind that 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Now change the order of these numbers and then divide them. What did you understand from this? Sir, here the answer in both situations is the same. Children considering this one example, can we say that the division of rational numbers is commutative? Let's see some more examples. Children now look at these rational numbers and divide them in the same order. Write the answers in your notebook. Now change the order of these numbers and divide them again. Now compare the answer with the answers that you have written in your notebook. Sir. On changing the order of this question, our answer are different. When we divide 0 by 5, the answer is 0. But dividing 5 by 0, give the answer 5 by 0. By dividing 5 by 0, we get an undefined answer. Here with the help of examples, we have learned that when we divide two same numbers, we get the same answer even if we change their order. But generally, if we change the order while dividing numbers, our answer changes. This is because division of rational numbers is not commutative. So friends, in this session, we learned that the sum and multiplication of rational numbers is commutative, but subtraction and division is not commutative. In the next video, we will see some examples related to commutative property of rational numbers. That's all in this session. See you in the next session. Thank you.